All right, hello everybody. I just wanted to make this short video tutorial just to go over a couple of things as I see people working through their first project in Photoshop. Uh, the first thing is the history panel. Okay, so right now I have my history panel opened and you'll see that it saves every step that you do after you open the file. Okay, now once you close the file and open it back up, this history won't be there. The history is only there while you're working on the project. Again, once you close it and open it back up, the history will not be there again. Okay, so guys, I'm going um, to close my history panel because, again, I need to show you where to find it. Okay, guys, all of these things are called panels. This is your tools panel. This is your layers panel, your color panel. Guys, I'm concentrating on that because that's questions on your exam. If you know they are called panels and you know where to find those panels, you'll get questions right on your certification exam, okay? If you do not see the panel over here on the left, that means it is not currently open. So how do we open panels? Anytime you wanna open or close a panel, you go to window. So all panels are found under this menu here of window. Again, if it has a black check, it's currently open. If it doesn't have a black check, it's not open. So here you'll see my tools panel does have a check. Here's my tools panel, it's open. Here's my options panel. This is called the options panel. Guys, they call it the options panel because look, every time I pick a tool, the option panel changes for that tool, right? Option panel changes for that tool. So you need to know this is the tools panel and this is the options panel. Again, why do they call it the options panel? Because every time you pick a tool, you get different options for that tool, okay? So again, to open the history panel, we're gonna go to window, just go down to history. Again, there's no check, so it's not open. Just click that, and then here's your history panel. So guys, when I first came in, this is where I was. This is where I was yesterday in the video when I showed you guys I had a blue background, some orange text. So today, guys, look, I opened the file. I edited the type layer. I did something to the type. I changed the formatting, the color, the size, whatever. I created a selection with my rectangular marquee. You can see it's still selected over there to the left. That's an issue for some people, and I'm going to address that in a minute. Okay, then I deselected. You'll notice it went away. I went and altered the hue and saturation on this image. Where do you find that? Under image adjustments, I wanna adjust the image and hue saturation, okay? You don't need to do that for this project. I'm just showing you where that is. Guys, in design, we call color a hue. So that's another term you need to know. We refer to a color as a hue. Saturation just means we made it more intense. Okay, so I'll do that for you. I'll click on that image. I'll come up here to image adjustments. I'll go down to hue saturation. Guys, all I did was this saturation, I bumped it up a little bit. Notice the colors in the image over here, they get a lot brighter as I bump up my saturation. Again, guys, with anything, don't go overboard. Don't go to the extreme with these sliders, okay? And then I added a little bit of black, all right? So black and white are non-colors. Black will darken colors and white will lighten colors. If you add black to a color, we call that a shade. If you add white to a color, we call that a tint, okay? Back to the history panel. I use my paint bucket. You'll see I just changed the background color there. If I back up, there's the blue color. Very next step, I use the paint bucket to add the color. Where's the paint bucket? It's right here. Again, guys, if you see another tool, you don't see the paint bucket, click and hold that little triangle, and then all the other tools will pop up and be available. And then the last thing was I edited the type layer. Again, if I back up, you'll see I changed the color. So what I did, guys, I originally had a blue background with orange text. Today I made a change and I swapped those. I made an orange background with blue text. Here's also what you can do. At any moment, you can take a new snapshot. It kind of saves your moment in history. It saves that moment in time on your project. So every now and then you may choose to create snapshots, okay? So again, I did all this here. I had made a snapshot at the beginning. I can go back to the snapshot and it'll take me right back 
to the state it was in before. So here's why you would do that. Maybe you do a lot of work, you wanna take a snapshot so you have it. You try out a few new things here, you don't like them, they don't work, you can just go back and revert back to that snapshot. So again, snapshot saves your steps, make some changes. You don't like the changes, you could back up individually through the changes here, but that takes time. Best thing to do is to go back to the original, or in this case, I had taken a snapshot of the original, and you can go back there, okay? That's how that history panel works. All right, guys, so again, paint buckets here. Again, if you do not see tools and paint buckets that I go over, just click and hold, and those tools will become available. This is the tools panel. This is the options panel. Why options? Because they give you options for each tool. We went over the history panel. And guys, always, always, always have your layers panel open. Your layers panel is Photoshop. So make sure you have that, okay? Guys, real quick about the selection thingy. Sometimes you guys might have a little tiny selection. So I'm just gonna make it a real tiny, tiny selection. You may have a selection and you may not see it. You may be trying to do things to your, your image and it's not working. That's because there's a selection. So how do you deselect? You go up to select and deselect, okay? Also guys, you can use the keyboard shortcut of Control D to deselect. So Control A to select all. Now you see the marching ants. Control D to deselect. All right, guys, I know the video is long enough. Hopefully that cleared up some things and maybe taught you something new. Have fun.